I'm so excited to see everyone back this year. Aren't you excited? I just want to say that it has been my extreme pleasure to be your health director and to more importantly be able to brag about DC seniors. I mean, DC seniors have done a remarkable job this past two years. And we've asked a lot of you. I mean, a lot of DC seniors. And working with Director Newland and her team under the leadership of Mayor Bowser, we've been able to accomplish so much. And because of your commitment and because you've done the things we've asked you to do, we're able to all be here together today in person in person, having the senior holiday luncheon at the convention center. I think that's a big deal. And it's because of your efforts and because you've done all of the things that we've asked you to do. I don't think you all know it, but DC seniors have done a better job than just about every city in the country in getting vaccinated. That's a big deal. You've trusted the information that we've given you. When we asked you to ask your neighbor to go out and get vaccinated, you've done those things. So I'm just tremendously and remarkably proud of all of the work that you've done. But I have one more ask. Just one more ask. Can you do one more thing for me? Just one more tiny, tiny, small thing. And that's to get your booster shot. Just one more thing. Well, maybe two more things. I need you to get your booster shot, and you can get your booster shot today. And I need you, as you go into the holiday season, to help get your neighbors, your family members, including your grandchildren, especially those grandchildren who are 20s and in their 30s, to help them get vaccinated so they can help keep you safe so we can have more events like this in the winter, in the summer, in the springtime, to all bring, come together and to keep you safe here in the nation's capital. Because you've done all of the things that we've asked you to do, and now we need you to help us get those young people to do all of the things that we've been asking them to do. So again, I just want to thank you all for all of your hard work, for all of your dedication and commitment to each other, and for being the best role models any city could ask for. And I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and a safe, blessed holiday season. Thank you all so much, and thanks for letting me be here with, to celebrate with you today. And now, I think I have the biggest guest that you all have been waiting for. It has been my pleasure to, over almost seven years, work for the best boss that anybody could have. And I mean that sincerely, the best boss that anyone could have. So now I'm going to introduce to you our mayor, Mayor Muriel Bowser. who have been serving to make sure that none of our services are interrupted across Washington, D.C., especially the services for our senior residents. So let's give a big round of applause to Director Laura Newland and the entire team at the Department of Aging and Community Living. Give them a big round. Chairman Bobo, Vanella Crawford, all of the council members who have joined us, including Council Member McDuffie, Pinto, and Bonds, thank you for your service. I just wanted to be here, and I'm so glad that we could get gathered this year in person. We've missed seeing each other, and we have missed all of the programs and services that we have done in person. We have made every effort to make sure our nutrition programs haven't been interrupted, to make sure that our recreation programs get back on track, to make sure that we're providing housing and assistance programs that we have come uh, to 
to develop over these many years. So please stay in touch with your lead agencies, your recreation centers, and each other so that everyone has what they need. There's not a time I go out in the community where I'm not introducing one of our programs to somebody. Some benefit that they are entitled to but didn't know how to access. So it's going to be increasingly important that we talk to each other. It's also increasingly important that we keep an eye on a neighbor who may not have any family to check in on them to make sure uh, that they're okay and that they're connected to DC. I've said frequently that senior DC residents have built this city, haven't you? You have been in this city through the tough times, haven't you? And you want to be here for the good times, don't you? So making sure that whatever we do with our initiatives and our budget and even our emergency response addresses senior needs is my job number one. I am very, very proud to be here today with the first parents, my parents, Joan and Joseph Bowser. Give them a big round of applause. They're keeping me in line, I can tell you that. And they're also making sure, just like Dr. Nesbitt said, that their friends and family have gotten fully vaccinated, have gotten their booster shot. They're making sure that their family members, when they have a gathering for Christmas, listen up. When we're getting together during the winter and during these holidays, we have to be careful. And that even means wearing your mask at home. When you have family members that are coming to your home that are outside your normal group of people. We want everybody to stay safe. So wear your mask when you're having your family gathering so that you can stay safe. And in the new year, you for sure, Who's going to be with me at the Fresh Start 5K? You can walk, you can run, you can stroll, but we're going to be at Anacostia Park at 10 a.m. starting the year off right. God bless you and have a happy, happy Christmas.